In Mod Nunu is basically this little tool you can use with the games that lets you enable some cheats. And while they're fun to use, making them is a little bit more complicated. In simple terms, everything in games and programs is controlled by variables. So for example, your health, your ammo in a game is a variable. There's a variable that controls whether money appears on top of your head or not. There's a variable that controls whether you have pressed the like button. All of these variables are stored somewhere on your computer. And that's what we call memory addresses. You can imagine memory addresses as being a label on a box that contains a variable. And what Mod Menus basically is, is a program that tells the computer to change the value inside one of these boxes. Now that that's out of the way, how do you actually make one? So the first thing I want to figure out is what addresses I want to be modified. And the best tool to do this is of course Cheat Engine. Now I have done a video before, which I heavily suggest watching, which explains the basics of how you use Cheat Engine. So assuming you know the fundamentals, the games I'll be using for this demonstration is the Cheat Engine tutorial. You can access it by going to the help tab, Cheat Engine tutorial, where I will click next to get to the game itself. This game is very simple. It's just health that will decrease when you click on the hit me button. Here I'm going to do the exact same thing as I showed in the cheat engine tutorial to find the address that holds the health and here it is so by default cheat engine already shows the address where the value is located and on top of that lets us change it to whatever we want so this is already a very simple kind of mod menu so if i were now to create a program in c c plus plus for python that changes the value inside of these memory addresses we already have a mod menu and this leads me to the problem which is that if i close and reopen the game again the value i had found for the health will no longer work this is because the value i found is something called a dynamic address to be able to explain what a dynamic address is, first I needed to picture how computer memory works. Every single second, information is being written and read from memory addresses. And generally speaking, only a small portion of the total memory available is actually being used. Now, one of these memory addresses contains the variable for the health. And while the program is open, it will be allocated, which means that if I were to open a new Chrome tab, for example, it wouldn't be allowed to store information like the link you're searching for inside the same address as the game's health. If I were to close the game, the memory addresses that were previously allocated Located, including the one that stored the health variable will no longer be used which means that any program like Chrome for example can use that same address to store their own variables. In reality, it's a lot more complicated than that. But to keep it simple, that's how I'm going to interpret it. Now that I know that closing and reopening the game will make the address I had found previously useless, how exactly can I avoid having to find the same address every single time the game is closed and open? And that's where pointers come in. Now, according to a quick Google search, a pointer is a variable that stores the address of another variable. The interesting thing about pointers is that they can be used to calculate an address by using something called offsets. An offset is basically the distance between two memory addresses. So for example, if you had a pointer where the base address is all zeros and added an offset of, for example, AA to it, you would end up with a pointer to this new address. So imagine you have a game called game.exe. If I open the game, it will allocate a memory address for itself in the memory currently available. If this game has coins, then every single memory address where the coins are located will be at a fixed offset from the address where the program allocated itself. And no matter how many times the game has closed and reopened, the coins will always be at the same offset distance relative to the initial address. So now my job is to find the offset so that I can create a pointer pointing to the health address relative to the starting point of the game. All right, so going back to Cheat Engine where I already found the address for the health value, first I want to figure out what offset I'm looking for. To figure this out, right click the address and click on find out what accesses this address. I already see that something is accessing the address without me having to do anything, but if I press the hit me button, then I can also see that three new values that also access this address pop up. Here in between the brackets, I can see that the offset is 4B0 and the zeros to the left can be ignored. Now it is possible that more than one offset appear in between these brackets and if that's the case then you want to keep the one that appears more often or just maybe try both. Now that I know the offset I want to generate a pointer map for this address by right clicking generate pointer map. In the prompt it will ask where I want to save the pointer map and what name I want to give it. I'll name it pointer map 1. Now that the pointer map has been saved I want to run a pointer scan by right clicking pointer scan for this address. Take the used saved pointer map checkbox and select the pointer map that was just generated. Take the pointers must end with specific offsets checkbox and enter the offset that we had just found out, which in my case was 4B0. Press OK, I'll save the results of the pointer scan in a file called PTS1, which stands for pointer scan 1, and wait until that finishes running. Once that's done, you can see that there are over 1 million results, and most of these will actually be useless. So what I want to do now is narrow down this list of pointers and figure out which one will actually stay when I close and reopen the game. To do this, I want to repeat the entire process with very slight changes. I'll open the game again in the help tutorial, press next to go back to the game where I was, select the game tutorial process again from Cheat Engine, make sure not to clear the list so that we keep the health that was found in the previous scan, scan for the health, there it is, 
Again, generate a new pointer map for this address. This time I'll name it pointer map 2. Now right click the new health address again, pointer scan for this address. Here I'm going to take the used saved pointer map again, but this time I'll select the pointer map 2, which I just generated. And the most important part is to take the compare results with other saved pointer maps, where I'll select the first pointer map and the address of the health that was found during the first scan that no longer works. Press OK and I'll save this as PTS2. What this is going to do is take the huge list of pointers that was found during the first pointer scan, make a new new pointer scan for the health address that was found and find out which pointers are exactly the same in both of the scans while removing the ones that were not identical. Now that the scan is completed, there are considerably less pointers in the list than what I got in the first scan, which is very good. I'll start randomly adding a lot of these results by double clicking them and praying one of them works. And if I close and reopen the game and select it from the process list, I see that all of the pointers I had found work, even though in most cases only a few of these will work. Finding pointers this way is very time consuming, especially in modern games where you're probably going to need to do pointer scans 10, 20 times to be able to find anything that's usable. But in all fairness, this is the most consistent way that I know of to be able to find pointers. But now that the pointers have been found, how can I turn this into a mod menu? There are a ton of ways to do this depending on what language, but since Python is the preferred language for this channel, I'll show you how to do it that way. Oh, and by the way, if you're enjoying this video, a sub would be really appreciated. So now open up a terminal and install the read write memory module with pip install read write memory. The documentation of this module is pretty good and covers a bunch of examples which I'll be going through. So open up a new Python file and start by importing the read write memory module with from read write memory import read write memory as they stated in their documentation. Then I'll start the reading memory service with read write memory and store the results in the R WM variable. Now going back to the pointers that were previously found, you can see that the base module is tutorial minus i386.exe. And since I'm going to be interacting with this process directly, I need to open it. To do this, use the get process by name function of read write memory, which is stored in the RWM module like this, and enter the name of the base module in the parenthesis like this. I'll store the process in the process variable and open it in a new line with process.open. Now I mentioned that the health variable is at an offset from the base address of the tutorial.exe. So what I want to do now is figure out what the address of the tutorial.exe is. And while I wish there was an automatic way to do this, unfortunately, it's never that simple. Unlike my segue to this video sponsor, BrainFM. BrainFM helps you focus better and be more productive by providing music made to increase concentration. They also offer music for sleep, relaxation, and even meditation. Sign up today and get 20% off by using the code Kiembrose or using the link in the description. All right, so to get the base address, we're going to need to calculate it manually. To do this, go back to Cheat Engine, right-click the health value, browse this menu region, go to Tools, and dissect PE headers. What you can see here is the list of all modules that the tutorial is loading. And here you can see the tutorial.exe, which is the base for the pointer that I found. I now want to click on it, and I can see that the preferred image base, which is just a fancy way of saying, hey, when I open, I want to be located in this address. I'll copy paste it inside of a comment for now and create a new variable called the base address. The value of this base address will be the preferred image base of the tutorial, which as I just found out was this, plus the address that was added to it in the pointer. So in my case, it will go from this to this. Oh, and also remember to add a little zero X in front of the address to be able to tell Python that it's a hex address. And if you really want to, you can also remove any zeros between the zero X and anything that isn't a zero. Now that the base address has been calculated, all that's left to do is create the pointer according to the documentation. So first I will declare a variable that will contain the pointer for the health. I'll call it health pointer. And it's going to be equal to process.getPointer, where getPointer is a function that, as its name states, gets the pointer to something. The parameters it takes in is base address and then an array of offsets in this format. So in my case, I'll set base address to the base address variable that has already been calculated. Oh, and by the way, if you don't manage to find a pointer, then you can always just take the address for the value and just stick it in here without any offsets, and that will work just fine. You'll just have to re-enter it every single time you close and reopen the game, or it won't work. But assuming you did find a pointer, after entering the base address, set a comma followed by offsets equals brackets and in the brackets write the offsets with the little zero x in front. And here you can see how I did it compared to the offsets I got. And yeah, that's it for the pointer. Now I can write a quick little while one loop which will run infinitely that will save the value that the pointer is pointing at inside of a variable I will call value which equals to process dot read health pointer. Right under that I'll print the value and the quick run shows that the script can in fact read the live health of the game. Now there is a possibility that you get this error message that says that the process can't be found. And if this is the case, you need to close Python, search for idle, right click, run as administrator, file, open recent, and get back to the script. 
Now when you run it as administrator, it should work properly. So now that I showed you how to read an address, which is already plenty useful when you combine it with bots, for example, but how can I write to an address and freeze it if necessary? To write to an address, which I'll just use the health pointer, I can use process.write health pointer followed by a comma and the value that I want. So for example, 500. If I run this once, I can see that the value changes to 500. And that's how values are set. Now, freezing is just setting a value really quickly so that if something tries to change the value, it's just going to be set right back to what you wanted it to be. So just sticking the write statement into an infinite while loop does the trick. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any problems, make sure to read the pinned comment first because I'm pretty sure that the answer is in there. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.